Hey, hi, hi, it's Monday morning. It's actually Labor Day though. So it's not a normal Monday morning. Oh, what you see behind me are returns. I actually ordered my first order from Jaclyn Roxanne, Jaclyn Hills Jewelry Line. I'm so disappointed. I was really excited because I don't normally spend a lot, a lot on jewelry. Spending 150 on two pieces is like, for me, I consider that a little bit more expensive. So I had high expectations, but like I just was turned off by the fact that like immediately it says made in China and I'm just like, okay, if you manufacture in China, that's fine. But like, why is it all written all over it? It just felt like cheap. I can't believe they couldn't find a way to remove made in China <laughs> from the tags. Second, the pieces were not cute. And they said on them, you can't like get lotion or sunscreen or perfume. And I'm like, what the hell am I gonna do with these? Keep them like it's like a delicate flower? Like, no, I like to wear my jewelry full time. I've been wearing like all of my jewelry like full time. And that includes when I have lotion or I'm sweating or I have perfume. It's like, I don't wanna think about that. So anyways, I'm returning it. Other things I'm returning, these D bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant, they can go fuck themselves. A couple items from Sheen that I didn't like. Well, one I purchased two of on accident, and then this dress, this flowery dress basically didn't fit. A high frequency machine. Um, oh, and a leash that I bought for Puffy that's cheap as fuck. I need to get a nicer one. And another thing that's happening this Monday morning is I got this stuff hung. These two shelving units, which I thought these were gonna be so much bigger. I literally thought these were gonna be three times the size of this. Like, I didn't know it was gonna be this big. Like, it's as big as my hand. So anyways, though, this is for like doing my TikTok videos and my filming. I'd like to display my products behind me. So that's what I have. I think I may have said this in one of my other vlogs. I don't remember, but I have a lot of products. This is niacinamide serum. This is the barrier serum. Obviously, they're not all going to fit on this shelving unit, which is fine, but I wanted to be able to see it when I'm sitting or standing, so I think we did a good job with the positioning, because if I buy a chair, it'll be fine to be positioned there. And then I've got this ring light here, which usually I use natural daylight, but because there's not direct here, I have my ring light here. I think it'll be nice just to have like a steady place to film. And this is what I'm looking out into. So it's a nice view. And then it'd be nice to have that as the background, but I don't think that'd be possible. Let's see. It's really not possible, right? It's a lighting moment, a lighting situation. So yeah, this is really freaking adorable. And I love that he was able to come over here on Labor Day. It's the last day of my sale, my Labor Day sale, the biggest sale that we've ever had, I think. Well, my BOGO sale was pretty big too. This is the biggest sale we've ever done and I'm just so excited to be able to design these offers for you guys now. This is something I've wanted to do for a little while. Ever since I started getting Fashion Nova emails, I, I don't know how many times I've mentioned this now. <laughs> I'm very inspired by Fashion Nova. Ever since I moved to Miami, I buy a lot of Fashion Nova and I'm like, I fucking love them and I love their business model and I just love that their site is just always exciting. I just, I get so excited when I get their emails. I get so excited going to their site. I just love feeling like I'm getting like a good deal. What I've been doing, so I've got the last day of the Labor Day sale today, which I'm going to do a lot of work for. That's it, my first Club Monday email goes out tomorrow. I'm very excited about that. And I wanna get on a consistent schedule with my posting, or my, my podcast as well, because up until this point I haven't. This is what happens in Miami. I wonder if you guys can see this. People advertise their Instagrams on these planes. They advertise their Instagrams or they advertise their OnlyFans. It says her IG handle and then come follow me for some fun. Hey, it's innovative, honestly. So I thought about getting like a Bauer Beauty one. Anyways though, it's Labor Day. It feels like a holiday just because I haven't been regimented today, but it doesn't feel like a holiday in the sense that like I'm chilling. I love um, being able to see the water and see other people having like a good time. I mean, I'm having an amazing time working. It actually gives me anxiety to take these out of the packaging because then I'm like confirming that I'm not selling these, you know? But that's not actually the case, you know? Part of the reason why I wanted to do this in the first place is because 
wanted to have these items here in the first place is because I want to actually like start to market to like local boutiques and stores or whatever. Yeah, I want to play with the design, but I just wanted to get a few up there and let's see what it looks like. I kind of want to get like my logo from back here. You know what's so crazy? I really need these to be better lit. Like, can you even see them? I mean, I obviously love, like, I love how they just look like a pattern. Like, it's all kind of the same bottle and all the same packaging and stuff. So it's kind of unique looking. But I feel like I want some more lighting, maybe some lighting up here. Maybe my logo, my big ass logo somewhere around here. I was really pissed, like, a week ago because I was like I'm so annoyed I haven't been able to find a background in this unit I can't find a background because there isn't a wall that faces the natural lighting and so I'm like I'm screwed I'm never gonna be able to find a background in here and so I tapped on it and I was like I can just do this this is the result of tapping actually these vlogs are a result of tapping too everything is a result of tapping now for me it's like the best thing that's ever been created okay I just did a lot of posting I posted on TikTok Instagram multiple times. I posted on Facebook all three of my pages and that took probably an hour to two hours. And now I'm having lunch. I'm having this right now. It's an oat bowl from Daily Harvest. This is what it looks like. Just letting it steam right now. And then I'm having toast and I just got these incense because when I cook, the ventilation, it's really bad in here. And my window, the only window I have is over there. And so sometimes when I cook and I cook a lot of fish, is the worst smell. So I also ordered like a crap load of those wallflowers from Bath and Body Works, but like, Lord have mercy. I can't believe how long that they're taking to get here. They originally said they were gonna be here tomorrow, the 6th, which was normal shipping period. Now they're saying the 13th. And I'm just like, um, excuse me, what? How is that possible? So who knows, maybe they'll show up tomorrow, maybe not. Update on my lashes, I'm so obsessed with these lashes. Like these are the lashes that I needed my whole life. Short, curly lashes. They're just so perfect. They like do a lot without doing a lot. So I'm just outside working and my iced tea is melting because it's hot and humid. And so I had to come get this paper towel. <laughs> oh my gosh, please look at Puffy. Please look at him. He's so opinionated. You are very sweet and opinionated. Okay, let's close this. So right now I'm writing an email to everyone who's on my Bauer Beauty discount email list. If you're not, you should subscribe. The link will be in the description box. And I was just thinking like, the compound effect is real. If you've never heard of the compound effect, it's a phenomenon that takes place just in every single walk of life. Historically, like people talk about it in terms of investing. If you invest in the stock market, the earlier the better because of compounding interest. But this is actually the case with like work. There's that book called Atomic Habits. There's that book called The Compound Effect. It's all about stop looking for those instant results and start just doing an hour a day do five minutes a day do 10 minutes a day do whatever you can per day don't think in your head i need to sit down one day and do all these things no just do little by little by little by little and eventually all of your skills are going to compound there's the concept in manifestation called your vibrational escrow and this is kind of like a similar top a similar idea only this makes it a little more practical and it's the compound effect and it's the fact that like everything you've done everything you've learned comes together eventually and so that's what i'm experiencing well there's a lot of people paddle boarding out there too it's too choppy to be paddle boarding in my opinion this is what the activity looks like right now labor day miami beach you see the paddle boarders there Where's my finger? They're right there. The paddle boarders. There's just a lot going on out there. It's so fun. Yeah, so it's the culmination of everything you've done, everything you're doing. And so as I was writing this email, I'm like, you know, 
Last year at this time, I didn't know how to write these emails. Last year at this time, I didn't know how to make these graphics. Like these graphics are so cute. I mean, I didn't design these. I have a designer who designed those, but I put them together. I designed this, I designed these graphics. And I'm just like, that's an example of the compound effect coming together. Cause now all my skills are coming together to allow me to communicate better to my Facebook or my email marketing list. I was building a list for a while and I didn't even know how to email them for at least a year probably. <laughs> Yeah, and now my goal is to grow my list. I have like 3,000 subscribers on my list. I wanna get it to 10,000 subscribers. And I actually have a new strategy I'm gonna be implementing in order to do that. I'm using a software called ClickFunnels. I've been really drawn to it for a while, but it's just learning a new software, implementing it, the fact that it's expensive, I've just been avoiding it. I've been saying, Jenny, you can just do this with Shopify. You don't need to get a whole new software, but I actually think I do. So I, I did buy it and I've done very little with it because I've been preoccupied. Like I had BOGO last Monday, I had 40% off this weekend for Labor Day. So yeah, I've had a lot of act, like sales that I needed to focus on. Anyways though, that is my two cents about the compound effect. It's real and then it adds up and overflows because all of a sudden you have all these skills. I know how to make graphics. I know how to send email marketing. I know those are only two skills, but there's actually a lot that I'm not thinking of, so. This is my favorite, favorite time to check the view because the sunsets are next level. Hi, baby. And everything gets a little pink and it's magical. Included in the lighting, the lighting in here gets stunning around this time as well. I wonder how it is in my new setup. Let's go look. Watching Martha back. The lighting here is pretty. It's prettier if this was open. I could probably open this curtain. This is with no ring light. It's very nice. I mean, I can't really see because the stupid shit on the viewfinder. There's like a tracking device. There's like a tracking situation happening on the viewfinder. My absolute favorite time and it just, it changes by the minute it changes. So it's like I go outside, I take a photo and then I come back in five minutes and the photo is even better. All day I worked on my Labor Day sale. It was a lot of work, but I feel extremely fulfilled. This is like sales like this are something that I would have never done in the past. This strategy is what has inspired the creation of a lot of the different things I'm implementing right now. I'm revamping my courses. I'm going to change the packaging a little bit. I'm going to start doing more limited edition type products. Yeah, I'm very excited. Well, it's 6.30, it's not too early, but this is slightly earlier than I normally get out of bed to go to the gym, but I'm going to a new Pilates studio. And I'm very excited to try this new Pilates studio. Yay, it's Tuesday, September 6th. Lots of things are happening today. I have a meeting with an EFT practitioner, consultation, and then I'm getting my hair blonder and I have to pay rent. Early, it's so quiet. Love the clouds here. It's so pretty. Normally I have my hydro flask, but today I don't because it's in the washer and so my water bottle is sweating and disgusting. One of my favorite coffee shops, Umbria. So glad my new Pilates studio is right next to it. They always give Puffy a pup cup and then he gets diarrhea. Okay, Pilates is done. I'm very upset about the fact that I did not even bring sunglasses because it was so early, I didn't even think about it. Let's see if I can get the same bike. Oh yeah, this is the same bike.
gotta leave your bunny when we go outside. You gotta leave your bunny. Okay, we're going to get my hair done and Puffy is just not happy with me at all. But it's okay because I'm gonna take him to daycare tomorrow. I'm not taking him today. I just don't wanna take him today. Okay, walking with this big ass purse. But I wanted to bring my laptop. I hate going this way through the back of my building because it just smells like garbage. obsessed with my neighborhood. It's the cutest neighborhood I've ever seen in my life, actually. It's very quiet, residential. Can you believe this is South Beach? This little store, I feel like they should carry my products. I'm gonna talk to them. Got my iced tea. I don't know why I go to this place because they literally fresh brew their iced tea and it's hot. So it never is that cold, but actually he made it really cold. I don't know, I just feel like cold iced tea is better than adding it to a bunch of ice. And now I'm like running to my hair appointment because he took so long. left the hair salon and this is what my hair looks like. I feel like it, I can't 100% tell, but I feel like it's like super blonde. I don't mind the super blonde, but I wanted a little bit more rootiness. I like having my root color come out. Just because of my skin tone, I need a little bit of dimension. So if it is in fact too blonde, I'm just gonna go back and have her add some root shadow. But and my Apple Pay wasn't working, and so I couldn't use my proper credit card to pay for this. And so that really annoys the fuck out of me. Hi, bitches. I hate my hair. Sometimes it's like I can't communicate beauty treatments to people. So, like, it's not that it's bad, it's just not for me, okay? So I like the weight of my blonde to be down here. I like the brightness to be down here and I like a little bit of darkness up here and right now, like the brightest is right here and it's just awkward. It's just very odd. So I have to go back and change it unless I get really impatient and put a purple shampoo. That would solve the problem if I put purple shit. Well, no, my, my hair would turn purple actually because it's so fresh. Oh, it's so ugly. This created more problems than I needed. So do you see what I mean? When I have a little bit of darkness up here, I have visions of being like super blonde, but it just actually never looks good unless it's an ombre on me. So that's that. I think it's because I have dark eyes maybe. Although I've seen brown eyed girls with bright blonde hair and it looks good, but it's just not me, I guess. I don't know, I wish someone would just be like the hairstylist that would just be like, Jenny, we know the perfect color for you. This is the perfect color for you. But like, I just don't know. I feel like it's such a crap shoot. Okay, I'm in my room. I put full self tanner on. Self tanner is on. I'm like, maybe that'll make me like my hair more. I think I'm gonna go in Thursday to get it fixed. But right now, I'm doing time blocking. Time blocking is something that has transformed my existence, okay? Time blocking, where you add to your calendar in advance what you want to accomplish. Like, what tasks you wanna work on for the day. Because for me, what I used to do is well, I would just make a list of things and the next day I would just look at the list and decide what needs to be done. Or sometimes I would just say, okay, for the next hour you're gonna work on Amazon. Okay, for the next hour you're gonna work on Shopify. But it's actually, that's kind of like a reactive way to create and produce. It's better if you can 
plan in advance because when you're planning in advance you're kind of thinking like from like an idealistic standpoint like well what needs to get done like I don't know and then also when you plan in advance for me when I look at the calendar I just do what's on the calendar without a thought and sometimes not sometimes all the time if I'm going in the moment and just looking at what needs to be done and choosing what needs to be done in that moment, I feel a lot of resistance because a lot of the work is very gritty, it's very detailed, and it's very time consuming, it's very hard, and it takes a lot of work and thought. And so I feel a lot of resistance to doing these things. But when I know on my calendar, I have a block of two hours that I'll be dedicated to this exact thing, for some reason, I'm just like, all right, let me do it. I'm excited to do it. And I get excited to do these things. So yeah, time blocking has been a game changer. That's that. I put myself tanner on. It's only like 9.20, but I probably want to do some meditation and do this time blocking and maybe journal and go to bed by like 10 because then I wake up at like 6.30. Oh, look at my day tomorrow, for example. I've planned out everything. First thing I did was wrote all the things I needed to do here, like my priorities, and then I chose the top priorities and I scheduled them into my day. Normally, I would never be able to do this. It's just kind of unbelievable how productive I can be doing this. Like for example, just tomorrow, I am going to be able to, I still have to change my site from Labor Day. I haven't done that. So you guys got extra time to purchase the shower. I need to update the acne makeover program because I'm going to be launching that again. I have a meeting with my finance team. I need to, I'm launching like a new consultation for my acne clients. I'm creating an application for you guys to apply. And it's actually a beta program, so it's going to be completely free for five of you. Between three and five people I'm going to take for this particular program if you have breakouts. So there's like an application I need to create, and then I need to create a posting about it. And then I need to check in with my Facebook and Google ads. And I need to do my hair and makeup and film TikTok. And then, yeah, that's it. Just kind of amazing how much stuff you can get done if you schedule it also kind of insane that it's mother freaking September 7th.